And the three-time champ Phil Mickelson will not be competing in the Masters Tournament in two weeks' time. First reported by Bob Herrick of the Morning Read, Mickelson's name was removed on Monday from the field list at Augusta National and added to the list of past champions not competing. A spokesperson for Augusta National later confirmed to GolfChannel.com that Mickelson will indeed skip the year's first major and no reason was provided for Mickelson's withdrawal. Hard to imagine a Masters without him. 29 starts. It'll be his first time not competing since 1994. Three victories, 2004, his first ever major. 06 holding off Tim Clark and Fred Couples. 2010 beating Lee Westwood. You see his number of top fives trailing only Jack and Tiger. Top tens trailing only Jack and Ben Hogan. It has been a part and parcel, Eamon, of his World Golf Hall of Fame career. It's a big moment to find out that Phil Mickelson is not competing in the Masters. What was your initial reaction when you found out yesterday? Not at all shocked, but it is quite striking because the Masters is a tournament, as we know, Damon, where the defending champions occupy this kind of exalted space in the firmament there. Even if they're not playing, even if they're aged and decrepit, they're still on site. They're still there. They're still part of the fabric of the tournament. And when you look at that list of past champions not competing, there are only three guys on that list who age and physicality would dictate that you would expect them to play, which is Trevor Immelman, who's now working primarily as a broadcaster and hasn't played in several years, Angel Cabrera, who can't play because he's in prison in Argentina, and Phil Mickelson, who's essentially in a prison of his own making right now, and that's ultimately where Phil finds himself. I think he's clearly got no tea time. He's probably not going to have a place setting at the Champions Dinner either, and it's it's not really surprising given what's going on, but within the fabric of the Masters, it, it's quite noticeable when an healthy, otherwise healthy former champion chooses not to be there. Yeah, Augusta National, the Masters, so often is kind of a sanctuary for the best players. We saw in 2010 when Tiger Woods came back from his off-the-course issues. He made his return at Augusta National, telling to me also that Phil Mixon had this game in the palm of his hand one year ago, the oldest major champ winning that PGA, tacking on a couple of PGA Tour champions wins besides, you know, rumored to be the next Tony Romo of golf, you know, could have signed his name on the dotted line and been an analyst just about anywhere in this country. So that begs the question, where will we see him next? We used to see him in commercials all the time. We used to see him playing inside the ropes on the PGA Tour. Well, it's, it's not surprising he's not going to go to the Masters because, you know, there's this sentimentality that the Masters could protect Phil yeah. in that people are more respectful, the fans are more respectful. Questions, in a way, are, are more filtered there. But they can't protect Phil from the locker room. And mm. it was striking to me in the last couple of weeks on the ground at the Players and at the Arnold Palmer Invitational that there is no one out there siding with Phil. Now, when Tiger had his issues, a lot of people said they're personal, and they said rightly, they're personal issues, they're for him and his family, they're no one else's business. Mm. It's a different story here in, in the Phil Mickelson scenario because while other guys are flirting with the idea of rival tours, it's essentially they're saying, you know, I might, I'm tired of eating at this restaurant, I'm going to go across the street and eat at a new restaurant, whereas Phil, by working for that tour, has essentially said, I'm going to torch this restaurant on the way out, you guys stay there. So that's why he is not particularly popular with the players right now. And there are a couple of key things coming up for him. Obviously, he's supposed to defend the PGA Championship in May. The defending champion typically does an on-site media day. If you look at last year at Kiowa Island, Colin Morikawa, who had won the previous year at Harding Park, was there for that event. That happened on April 13th. It's a week after the Masters, roughly, give or take, is the, the time frame where we'd be looking to see if Phil Mickelson shows up at that particular event. But it's, it's very... It's very unclear at this point, even I think to the PGA of America, if they're going to see Phil or when. Mm. But to me, Phil is talking to somebody because in a podcast with Gary Williams a couple of days ago, Greg Norman mentioned that he had actually spoken to Phil a couple of days earlier. So while Phil may be talking to nobody else, he is actually still talking to the guys who are going to attempt to launch this. Also, US League. Open at, at Country Club. Uh, in June, and of course, no one would have thought about a career grand slam for Phil Mickelson before he won that sixth major at Kiowa last year. So you look, you look at Phil Mickelson and what he has meant to this game. I have been surprised that this story has lingered. I would have thought that the game or other stories would have replaced it. And at some point, uh, because people like to forgive and move on to the next scandal, that Phil at some point would have shown his face, made his way back into the game. What does it tell you that... This story continues. Phil is still persona non grata, it seems. Under suspension, perhaps, we don't know. 
uh, the commissioner, Jay Monahan, would not say definitively a couple of weeks ago at the Players' Championship. Are you surprised that this story has continued to linger, and how long will it linger? It could linger for years because oil money gives admirable staying power to the Saudis when it comes to this idea of a rival league. That's why the story continues to linger is because they've, just in the last week, they have announced a schedule that they plan to start events in June in, in London. Mm. And if Phil is going to be part of that, which is unclear at this point, he's admitted that he was working with him. If he's going to be in that event, he would have to file his request to the PGA Tour for a waiver to go play in that event before the PGA Championship would be defended. So mm. the time frames don't really work for Phil here, but I'm not surprised the story keeps lingering. And I don't buy this argument that, you know, Phil is somehow is trying to apologize or work his way back. Phil has chosen sides at this point. There's still no indication that Phil is moving back to the side that he used to be on in terms of the PGA Tour. So it's not a surprise that Phil would find himself persona non grata at all. It's just a matter of what's Phil's next move. Does he stay with this idea of the rival tour that he has admitted in his statement saying he was stepping away from the game, he used the phrase working with in reference to the Saudis. So the next move is very much, I think, in, in, in Phil Mickelson's court. Mm. Remarkable turn of events for a player who spent most of his career as the people's champ in this game, as the everyman, as the normal guy compared to the chiseled and ever dangerous Tiger Woods. The story will continue to follow and see where we find Phil Mickelson playing golf next.